Can you believe it's already field day? Yeah, time flies. What are you excited for today? Tug of war and kickball. I'm ready to hoop it up. Can you believe that the seniors have won like 31 times in a row? Wait, did you just say 31? Yeah. That reminds me, we have to go film the 31st edition of the EDS News. Let's, Let's go. go. This week on upcoming events. Performing Arts Night is on Tuesday, May 7th at the University of Evansville. On Thursday, May 9th, there's a key club meeting and Grandparents Day is on Friday, May 10th in the gym. That's it for this week on upcoming events. Tune in next week for more. This week on What's Hot, Avengers Endgame. The, most, the much anticipated sequel to Avengers Infinity War premiered last Thursday night. Avengers Endgame has since broken the record for biggest opening weekend sales, taking $357.1 million in the U.S and $866.6 million overseas, making $1.2 billion worldwide. Endgame is the closer for the Avengers franchise, ending the story that began 11 years ago with the first Iron Man movie. Since then, Marvel has released 22 movies, according to critics and most viewers. The film was an emotional thriller that brought a fitting end to the storyline of Marvel's most famous characters, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. But this is far from the end for Marvel movies. In the past years, Marvel has set up storylines for new characters like Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, and Spider-Man, who we will see this summer in Spider-Man Far From Home. Marvel also plans to begin producing new TV series like WandaVision, which tells the story of Scarlet Witch and Vision, and Loki, God of Mischief, which will dive deeper into the past of the Avengers first villain. That's it for this week on What's Hot. The middle of primary school Spanish classes showed off their pinatas during Cinco de Mayo celebrations on Thursday and Friday. <laughs> their pinatas were excellently designed and they had a blast celebrating Cinco de Mayo. Adios, amigo. A powerful impact was made on Wednesday, May 1st, by all of the support on our day given. On this epic day, we honored those gallant donors who support the annual fund and invited everyone to join our team of heroes. Many generous donors stepped up to help us reach our goal of $30,000. All of today's progress for our Day of Giving event was updated live on Facebook. Parents, alumni, and friends were able to keep track of our progress throughout the day. We would like to thank all of our heroes who donated to our Day of Giving. Vote EDS. Foreigner will be performing live at Old National Events Plaza on Tuesday, August 13th. They are looking for a local high school choir to join them on stage to sing their classic, I Want to Know What Love Is. Voting is open to the public through Friday, May 3rd. Please vote for the EDS choir. You can still get your vote in by 5 o'clock today. Thanks for supporting our singing eagles. Now it's time for this week on sports. The middle school girls had a tennis match on Tuesday against Holy Name, and they won. Way to go, girls. The high school girls had a tennis match on Monday against South Ridge, but they lost. The boys have a golf match today at McDonald's. That's it for this week on sports. Tune in next week for more. And now it's time for this week's mushy edition of In the Halls, where we put EDS students on the hot seat. What comes up but never comes down? They did that Air. too. They killed you the first time. I know, yeah. I know. Your age. So, uh, um, plant. How many months have 28 days? Two. Probably one. All of them? One. Twelve. 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 Yeah. All of them. If you took two apples for three apples, how many do you have? Negative one. Two. Wait, what? Yeah, you'll. Two hundred. <laughs> What is easy to get into and hard to get out of? A wetsuit. I don't like it. A car? A tunnel. A car.
Durant. Praise Scotty. 